Hello and thank you for viewing this video tutorial. Today I would like to take a few minutes to demonstrate some helpful features in Argus Enterprise to simplify your use of the program. After viewing this video, using Argus Enterprise should be even easier and more user friendly. Number 1. Field entry columns can be reordered by dragging and dropping. For example, if you're used to viewing your tenant data in a different order than it is presented in AE, you can customize the column order to suit your preference. This applies to all data input windows that are laid out in this type of grid format. For example, I can do the same thing on the Expenses tab. Number 2. Multiple attachments and URL links can be added to each Argus Enterprise property. The attachments are located on the Property tab. Here you can add images, links to online resources, or documents in almost any format. You can turn AE into a virtual data warehouse by attaching all property related resources. Number 3. The up and down arrows on your keyboard can be used to increase or decrease data values. In a single cell data field, the up and down arrows can be used to increase and decrease the values. For example, the length of the analysis can be set with the up and down arrows as you are tabbing through the property description window. Number 4. You can choose which direction the enter key will move your cursor. By default, your cursor will move down when you hit the enter key, as it does in Excel. If you would prefer to have your cursor move along a horizontal axis, you can change this option in the user settings. To access the user settings, you will first need to click on the File tab and select Options. You will then click on User Settings, and here you can change your cursor enter direction. Number 5. Duplicate Plus Records allows you to make multiple copies of data rows at one time. For example, if I need to create three new market leasing assumption categories and I have a similar assumption already created, I can select my current market leasing category and select Duplicate Plus Records on the ribbon bar. I can then select to copy the record three times and select OK. And I will immediately see three new records on my market leasing screen. Here I can simply update the name or other terms of the market leasing assumption categories as defined by my rent roll. Similar to dragging and dropping the column headings, this functionality also applies to all grid entry fields. I hope you have enjoyed this video tutorial. If you have any questions, please feel free to contact us here in support via any one of the methods listed on the Argus Software Support site. If you have any comments about this video or ideas for future how-to videos, please leave them below. Also, please check our extensive knowledge base for other helpful hints and tips regarding Argus Enterprise and our other software programs. We look forward to hearing from you.